A thing that sets coaching apart from counseling is that coaching tends to be present-based and future-oriented, and counseling tends to be more past-based up to the present. In coaching, we assume a person is functioning pretty well in life and we're trying to help them move on to the next level or like I said, to, to um, make progress on a challenge they're facing. In counseling, often people aren't really functioning well. They're not optimally even functioning. So the counseling goal is to help them be able to function again in life um, as well as to make progress in going forward. At Pastor Serve, we talk about um, front stage and backstage issues in life. So the front stage is like in a theater, it's what everybody sees. It usually looks pretty good. We put our best face there, uh, our best performance there in the stage setting. And the backstage can be really messy and cluttered and, and not very presentable. So we talk about everybody has their front stage stuff, the stuff we present to the world. Um, for coaching, that might be the stuff everybody sees, like your preaching, your small groups ministry, your administrative ability, your ability to uh, raise funds or lead your elder board or your staff. So that's the front stage stuff. So we, we coach to all of that. But there's also the backstage stuff. And that's like, how's your marriage really going? How's your soul really? Um, how's your parenting? You know, how are your kids? Um, what are the things that tempt you? Uh, where, are you where are you struggling in your faith and your doubts and your disappointment? So we coach in that area as well. A coach's job is not to tell you what to do. A coach's job is to provide an opportunity for you to explore things in a safe environment where you're not gonna be judged or ridiculed or even fixed. Um, so it's a place where you can come, uh, present the challenge and have a safe place to think out loud about it with somebody else that will help guide you and move you towards some action and not just sort of leave you stuck in the mess.